My name is Christian Posta, and I am one of the authors of Istio in Action. What we want to see is how we get traffic into our cluster and into our service mesh. And doing that in a Kubernetes way, uh, you know, cluster is typically done with an ingress resource. But as we cover in chapter four, the ingress resource is not sufficient for a lot of use cases. So we're gonna use the Istio ingress gateway. So if we actually come over here and come over to our, and just browse and take a look at our cluster here, if we go into the Istio system namespace, we see we have the Istio control plane, Istio D. We have Prometheus, which is used to gather telemetry. And then we have the Istio Ingress Gateway. Istio Ingress Gateway is, and just like the rest of the Istio service mesh, it uses Envoy as the proxy. And this is what allows traffic into the cluster and routes the traffic to various backend services or, or services that exist in the cluster. If we come over here and look at our default namespace, we see we have uh, a, a service that we're going to be using here. And uh, this service just fairly simple returns dummy data, right? And we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that. And we're gonna use the Istio Ingress Gateway and some of the lessons from chapter four to, to, to get traffic into, into the cluster here. So as we can see in our demo, we have the fake service deployed. We have two out of two containers. And we have, and, and by the way, the two out of two is the fake service as well as the Istio sidecar. So the, the sidecar proxy, the service proxy. And when we look at the Istio system, we see again the control plane and the gateway. To use the gateway, Istio ingress gateway, we need to configure two different parts. One is the gateway resource. And what this resource does, it tells Istio what ports, what protocols, and what host names that should be exposed on the gateway. So this doesn't do any routing. This doesn't do any other configuration, at least in this particular first step of the example. Um, we're just opening up the port and giving the port some Metadata, it's HTTP in this case, we're talking HTTP. And what, what hosts to match on. Okay, so let's create that. We're running in Kubernetes. And with Istio, we have a declarative configuration model. We're, we're applying this using kubectl. So now, if we take a look at the ingress gateway, and we can use the istio cuddle command to do that using the proxy config command. If you're not familiar with it, that is probably the most powerful command in the istio ctl or cuddle, uh, depending on your preference, CLI. And we can look at routes, we can look at clusters, we can look at listeners, we can adjust logs. That's a very powerful command. What we see here is the actual uh, lower level JSON output of the Envoy configuration. And we can see when we added that gateway, which, which I said would open up the ports and label them with the pro protocol and so forth, we can see that the, the, a route in Envoy was actually created correctly. But it doesn't do anything. It, uh, there's no routing. It doesn't, if you, if you call it, you're gonna get a direct response of 404 because we, we haven't set up any routing or routing rules. So let's give it a route then. If we call, or so from the gateway, so we're gonna create this Istio virtual service. From the gateway, if this traffic comes in, we will match that a particular host name and then send traffic to our fake service, to our backend service. We've used the gateway resource to open up the ports now we're using the virtual res uh, virtual service resource to, to connect the dots. So when traffic comes in through those ports, now we can say route it to our service. So let's create that. 
And now if we go back and look using the Istio Cuddle proxy config command, we should be seeing, there we go. We see now not only is the listener or the port open, but we're matching on a particular host name and we are specifying a route to route it to a particular service. So that's all good. We created a gateway and a virtual service. And now if we try to curl it, actually first let's figure out what is the IP address that we're going to use. In this case, we are running in GKE. We are exposing the Istio Ingress gateway as a load balancer. And in GKE, it's been assigned this public uh, IP address. So now if we run curl against that IP address, oh, actually, it's saying 404 not found. Um, and that's because we called this IP address. But if you remember the what the configuration said, it said to match on API server. Okay, so then we didn't call it correctly. What we need to do is either pass in the host as a, as a uh, parameter to curl, or we could have actually set up DNS to, uh, to map this IP to that host name. But so if we just pass in the host on the curl command, we can see we get a good response and we see exactly what the, the response is, fairly simple, uh, a message that says hello from our fake service here. That's great. Now traffic coming in, we can route to services in the service mesh. And in the service mesh by default, with later versions of Istio, the traffic is encrypted from service to service. And when traffic comes in through the Istio Ingress gateway, it's encrypted from the gateway to the service. But the traffic coming into the gateway is not out of the box encrypted. So let's add a server side TLS requirement to the Istio Ingress gateway. So that when a caller calls into the gateway, that will be done over TLS and will be encrypted as well. So the first thing that we want to do is create a secret that ho holds the key and certificate information for the certificate and the domain that we want to represent on the Istio Ingress Gateway. In this case, we want to represent API server.istio.action.io. Right, so that's the host name that this particular certificate will represent. So let's create this as a secret. And what we'll see here is that we're going to use a very specific secret name, Istio dash ingress gateway dash certs. And the reason why we are creating this secret this way is if we actually come back here to the Istio control plane and look at the ingress gateway and we do a search for certs, we can see that in this, in this particular deployment, we are mounting in something into the file system under this path, etsy slash istio slash ingress gateway certs. What are we mounting in there? Let's see. Let's find the volumes down here. And we will find that if we have a secret named istio-ingress-gateway-certs, that is what's going to be mounted into that file system location. All right, so that's why we are naming it this because istio-ingress-gateway is already configured with a with this secret mounted even though it doesn't exist we can see that it's optional um, and when we create it it will then correctly get mounted into the istio ingress gateway so let's so we just created it that's good now what we need to do is 
configure the gateway to pick up those certs. See, in this case, we're passing in, so we're, first of all, we're saying open up port 443. That's what we do with gateway resources, right? We open up ports and assign protocols and host matching. All right, so we have our port 443 named and assigned to a protocol, and we're telling it, pick up the TLS keys and certs from this location. And we already know that this is going to be there because it automatically gets mounted in. All right, so let's create this. Now what we're doing, now what we should see, if we, if we get the um, gateway uh, listeners, we should see a 443 port, as well as it'll know to present which certificate because we're specifying it right here. All right, so now let's try to call it. Let's try to call it. And we see, first of all, we're using HTTPS, so it switches to the different port. And we're getting some issues here. We're able to connect. We can see that. So 443 was opened. And we're trying a few different things here, but we're getting an error. We're getting errors. And that's because this particular certificate was signed by a certificate authority that we don't trust. So let's pass in that certificate authority trust chain like this. We see that, okay, but we're still getting an error. We've used the correct certificate authority certificate, but we're still getting TLS errors. And that's because over TLS, we're calling this we're calling this end, uh, uh, name. And the certificate that we're presented with has this, API server.istioandaction.io, not this IP address. So what we need to do in this case is just have our client remap the name. So we're passing in the host header, but well, let's actually call it as it's presented in the certificate and then remap it using this resolver command. And now it works, right? So we have the host name. We're actually using the host name in the URL that we call, passing in the trust certificates, trust chain, and then just swapping out Istio in action for what the actual IP address is here. And it works, right? So now we have TLS traffic coming into the gateway, and we have mutual TLS from the gateway onto the rest of the services. So the last couple things we're going to do is we saw when we created these certificates how we just leveraged the default that um, the certificates are mounted in through the Kubernetes secret and it'll automatically pick it up. But what if you had to add this, these certificates for let's say 10 different domains? Um, that would be a problem. Or what if you needed to rotate the certificates? That could be a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same behavior, but we're going to add, a, add another domain. And we're going to use Istio's, instead of mounting the certificates directly in, we're going to use Istio's secret discovery service, which is an API that can dynamically load the secrets and dynamically load the certificates into the proxy. What we're going to do is we're going to create a secret again with the same certs. But we're going to call it whatever we want. We're going to give it a descriptive name, not use the name that is already being mounted into the ingress gateway. All right? And now when we configure the gateway, we're not going to specify where on disk to load the certificates. We're just going to say, hey, look at this secret. And then Istio will use its own dynamic mechanisms to pull the, the secret and the, and the TLS credentials out of that. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this resource and then try calling the, the service knowing what command to use. And we should see, cross fingers, that it works, and it does. So we're using SDS, 
and pulling the credentials right from the secret, not trying to mount it in. Because if we wanted to add another domain name, we would, you know, using the mounting way, have to create the secret. We'd have to update the Istio Ingress gateway deployment file to mount in that secret. We'd have to mount it into a location uh, either with a different name or uh, different file names or different directory names. And so we don't want to, that, that, that's a lot of extra steps to do to get this working. So what we're gonna do is uh, add a second credential for a different API or different host name, calling this one the catalog credential. Let's add a new service, we'll call this fake service dash two. No problem, create that service. Now let's apply a virtual service so that we can actually route from the gateway into that service. And lastly, we're gonna, use, we're gonna update the gateway re resource here to add another section. Again, listening on port 443, so now we have two different services li listening on 443. And the Istio Ingress Gateway can serve certificates for both of those domains. In this case, it'll be pulling it over SDS from a secret called Catalog Credential. So let's apply this gateway. And then we're going to call the original uh, service. And, we, and that should work. That looks fine. Hello from the fake service. And we're gonna call the gateway again using a different host. So we'll have a different matching. It should show different certificates and it should allow the traffic to go through and it does. Hello from fake service too. So we can expose multiple domains on the Istio Ingress gateway. We can expose TLS expectation for those domains and present different certificates depending on the domain. And we can use the Kubernetes secrets directly because of Istio's SDS capabilities. And then now the traffic coming in gets terminated, re-encrypted to Istio mutual TLS for the services in the mesh. So I hope this was uh, informative and useful. I do recommend that you check out this Istio in action book. And myself, Christian Posta, and Raynor um, are working feverishly. So you know, take a look at Istio, take a look at Istio in action. And uh, thank you, you know, if you're interested in looking for me, Christian. Here's, uh, here's my Twitter, you know, you can reach out to me on, on Twitter, um, on my blog, blog.christianpost.com, and I write a lot about this stuff, both uh, that we'll find in the book, as well as ancillary stuff for, uh, for the community outside of that. So again, thank you very much. This was Christian Posta uh, from solo.io presenting uh, for, uh, for Manning on uh, chapter four of our book, Istio in Action.